Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you're getting ready for the racing that's going to be taking place out at Turfentain. We've got the postman that's going to be tipping out at Turfentain and please Lord, let him deliver. So I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his preview. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, no matter where in the world you guys are. Racing comes to us on Thursday the 10th of November from Turfentain. And we're on the inner track. We had a good chuckle um, when racing got cancelled on Tuesday. Like we said with the grooms, we're not going to get too involved. When it was cancelled, everybody running around saying, well, what the hell do we do now? But as I said, tomorrow racing um, from the inner track. There are nine races carded. Uh, not a bad card, guys. The first is your for 1,200 hours. It's a maiden plate over 2,000 meters. And in the first race, we find the first of our value bets. And this would be horse number one, big guy. Please take note that race one, guys, does not um, make up any of the exotics. So our value bet is big guy there, horse number one, Caden Brewer for the Alec uh, Laird Yard. Last time out was a second run after rest. Um... I think it'll be cherry ripe, round about seven to two. I think is great, great value. Nicely drawn at one, Caden Brewer for Alec Led. For second, I have gone for the favourite. This is horse number two, Gregor McGregor. Samanga Kamalo uh, retains the ride here for Quirbus Roo. Um, was a decent effort last time out, finishing uh, third behind Otto Laken. Was running on, and again, must give a good account of itself. I do fancy one and two for the exactors. For third, we've gone for the three, Greenback Currency, Cabela Marciana for the mowing yard. Again, this has got some fair form. Last time out second, albeit a long way behind uh, Temperate Zone at Gravel. Um, the third horse has come out and won since, so the form has been franked, and I think this is good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. And for fourth, we've gone for the four. This is Royal Raphael. Ryan Munger for the Sins and Grey Yard. Um, again, I think this is good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. And we've got numerically one, two, three, and four. And we think one is uh, fair value at 72. We'll move on to the second race. And this is Joff at 12.30, first leg of our bipods. It's a graduation plate over 1,600 meters for the girls. In the second race, guys, um, I'm taking a bit of a chance here. The favourite is uh, horse number four, Moran, at county round about seven to ten. I'm looking to take it on. And my first selection here is horse number one, Liliana Samanga Kamala for the De Kock Yard. Um, last time out, this did finish four and a half lengths behind Eternal Life, was staying on. Um, I really think that Liliana will give the younger brigade a hard time. Um, again, I think this is definitely good enough for exactors and swingers. In the bipod, guys, uh, smaller punters, you can maybe, if you want to take a chance and bank of the four, we're going to put the one and the four in. So I've gone one for second. I have gone for the hot pot favorite, number four, Moran. Keegan de Mello for the Van Furen Yard. Um, very, very decent effort last time out behind Captain Pegg. We know Captain Pegg is a decent sort. And again, must be included in everything. For third, we've gone for the three. This is horse. Uh, this is Simple Simple. Randall Simons for the De Kock Yard. Um, nasty drawn at one. Um, ran behind Feather Boa. Ran behind Maharani. You know, these are some decent sorts. And... I certainly think that swingers or exactors throw this one in as well. For fourth, we've gone for five, uh, Princess Ozma, Calvin a bit for the Terry Yard. And again, I think this may be good enough to fill in back end of trifectas and quartets. So race two, we've gone one, four, three, and five. And I'm hoping to take on the hot pot favorite there. The third race on the card, off at 13.05, merit rate at 70, handicap over 1,000 meters. This would be the first leg of our place accumulator. Guys, please just take note, horse four, great times, has been scratched. 
and in this event my first selection here will be horse number two dancing dora uh, this is chase monjean for fani broncos this won well last time out and i do think that uh, dancing dora is good enough to repeat that effort for second we've gone for horse number six and this is tangerine pearl gabriel peterson gets it right for the mooring yard this won a maiden last time out um, i do think that this will jump and I think that, again, this one must be considered. For third, we've gone for number one, Stormy Seas. Um, this is Ray Danielson for Roy Magna. Stormy Seas finished behind our first selection last time out. Um, and I think we'll be there and thereabouts. For fourth, we've gone for horse number three, Clean Living. Muzieni for Corne Spiss. Nasty drawn at one, very, very speedy sort. Um, and again, must be there and thereabouts. I think the, that the third race is quite an open event. Um, and like I said, we've gone two, six, one, and three. And I think for the place accumulators, put in one, two, and six, probably. We'll move on to the fourth race on the card. Jaw off at 13.40. A merit rated 96 handicap, again over a thousand meters. Please take note, guys, horse number nine has been scratched. And our first selection here is horse number seven, and this is Ridge Runner. This is Keegan DeMello for Johan Janssen van Fieren. This finished uh, last time out six and a half lengths behind Anfield's Rocket. There's certainly no Anfield's Rocket in this race. Um, there's a lot of horses coming back from a long, long layoff. And I do believe that Ridge Runner is the horse to beat. For second, we've gone for horse number six, Sheldon. And this has flattered to deceive. Um, again, nicely drawn at one. Randall Simons for the Van Furen yard. This may be the exacta. Box it. Um, hope like hell Sheldon arrives. But again, in this field, um, certainly think that the six is a big, big runner. As I said, there's a lot of decent horses coming back from long layoffs. And may just need it for fourth uh, my apologies for third we've gone for horse number eight cool winter this one again coming back from a 20 week uh, 21 week layoff for the mike de cock yard we know that mike can get these ones uh, fit first time back from a long layoff the kid uh Sasebo is claiming his four kilos this will only be carrying 49 and again this will uh, be up there uh, for nothing nicely drawn at two and for larger perms throw this one in um, especially for pig sixes for fourth we've gone for the four and this is goliath heron ryan munger for the binder yard coming back from a 15 week layoff again very very speedy sort may be found wanting um and good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets so race four guys we've gone seven six eight and four Smaller punters, six and seven should be all right. Um, those that want to take a smaller percentage, throw in the eight um, in your pick sixes. We move on to the fifth race on the card. Joff at 14.15. A mid-rated 89 handicap for the girls. Again, over 1,200 meters. I think even though this is a small field, I think this is one of the toughest races on the card um for me this is a field race and again i'm looking to roll the favorite yeah my narrow first selection at round about 81 is horse number six ramaya this is jb van der Merwe for mike de Kock. um this has run to some decent sorts um second run after arrest um jp rides really really well for the yard and i'm hoping that this can arrive and certainly make our jackpots and pick sixes pay for second, I've gone for horse number five, Golden Aspen. Marco van Rensburg for the Cornet Spice Yard. Um, this was a little unlucky last time out, uh, losing two lengths at the, at the start. If this jumps on terms, we'll certainly go very, very close and is in decent form. For third, we've gone for the favorite, and this is horse number four, Vivacious Spirit, uh, Gav Lorena for the Johan Janssen van Furen Yard. Um, currently around about 14 or 15 to 10. 
um, cannot be left out of larger perms. Um, yeah, it must be included. For fourth, we've gone for two greens. Cabela Mazziani for the Candace Dawson Yard. This was running on really, really smartly over a thousand meters. I think the additional 200 meters will suit this one down to the ground. And again, eight to one can't be left out. Um, if you're looking for something else, throw in horse seven as well. No time is taken. Keegan de Mello for Johan Janssen van Furen. We know that this combination is really, really hot at this moment in time. So race five, I have gone six, five, four, two, and thrown seven. I think it's a tough race, guys. Six race on the card, you're off at 14.50, and merit rate at 68 handicap. Again, over 1,500 meters. Um, I think this is also quite a tough race, even though it's got only eight runners. My narrow first selection here is horse number two, Iceman Cometh. Samanga Kamala for Joey Somo, nasty drawn at one. Um, last time I finished four lengths behind Spin Doctor. Was not a bad effort. I see they've thrown blinkers on this one. I think that Samanga will jump. I think he'll be up there from the draw and certainly worth um, considering in all exotics. For second, I've thrown in horse number four. This is Iron Tails, Marker van Rensburg for the Space Yard. Marco jumps back aboard this one. He won on it two runs back, beating Admirality Arc. Um, this one is capable of running on. I think Marco will have this one just off the pace and should be running on when others have cried enough. For third, we've gone for the ultra-consistent horse number three, Funky Music. This is currently top of the boards. Ryan Munger for the Ashley Fortune Yard. And again, the form is there for all of us to see. I see that this is Ashley's only runner, and I'm sure they're not going to go down to Turfentain to have a look at the weather. Must be thrown in. For fourth, we've gone for the one, Sequoia uh, Randall Simons for the Decock Yard. Again, um, is dropping in class. Um, cannot be left out. Um, I won't be punting it on the, on the nose, but again, as I said, for jackpots, pick sixes, throw it in. I'm even looking at throwing in a real rough here in our exotics. That's horse number eight, Rose Willow. Nathan Kling for Brett Weber. This was running on really, really well last time out. Um, was drawn very, very wide. I think with 52 on his back, good enough to run into a place. Um, as I said, in our exotics, we've thrown in two, four, three, one, and eight. We move on to the seventh race on the card, draw off at 15.25, not a novice handicap, over 1,600 metres. Please take note, guys, horse number three, Ignatius, has been scratched. In the seventh race, my first selection here is horse number two, Houston. And this is currently top of the boards, around about 18 to 10. Keegan DeMello gets the ride here for Candace Dawson. A nice effort last time out, um, finishing under half a length to spin doctor and i think that this will go really really close for second we've gone for the four this is high roller uh, ryan munger gets a right here for clinton binder uh nicely drawn at one i think ryan will jump i think could be just off the pace turning for home and should again be running on when others have cried enough for third we've gone for the nine a little bit of a roughy cold hard stare Gabriel Peterson gets the ride here for the Mark and Adam Azzi yard. Um, I see they pulled the blinkers off this one. Was not a bad effort last time out. Um, I do think that carrying a, a low mass of 52 and a half with Gabriel aboard, third run after rest, must be thrown into all exotics. For fourth, gone for a nice little rough year. Horse number one, uh, Permiso Avanti. Randall Simons gets the ride here for the Van Furen yard. And this has dropped in class. Third run after rest. And again, I certainly would not be leaving this out my exotics. So race 7, 2, 4, 9, and 1. The eighth race of the card, guys. You're off at 1,600 hours, 4 o'clock. Classified stakes over 1,800 meters. Please take note. Horse number 9, Mandalay Effect, has been scratched. And again, yeah, narrow first selection. Horse number 8. Pragmatist. Uh, Keegan the better for the Van Furen Yard, currently around about 15 to 10. Um, was not disgraced last time out, finishing second behind Good Counsel. 
Um, and I do believe, again, that this one will be there and thereabouts. For second, we've gone for horse number two. This is High Moon. Samanga Kamalo gets a ride here for Clinton Binder. I think this will go really, really close. I think it will certainly make the favorite pick up its feet. Uh, nicely drawn at two. Um, a must in all exotics. For third, gone for the four. Cool Michael. Caden Brewer retains a ride here for Robbie Sage. Um, last time out. Lost the length at the start and only finished three and a half lengths behind Master of Coin. Um, <clears throat> I do think that Cool Bicol is good enough to run a drum. And again, round about 7, 8 to 1. Nice uh, to throw in for swingers, trifectas. For fourth, we've gone for horse number six, Wandering Star. Muzi Yeni gets a ride here for the St. John Grey Yard. Um, last time out, had excuses, was slow, finished the race, fatigue. The time before that was not disgrace. One and a half lengths behind Parker Geatrix. Has beaten um, High Moon by half a length um, and again should not be left out exotics so we've gone eight two four six and we're still thinking load up we'll move on to the lucky last and the lucky last is due off at 1635 mid rate is 74 handicap for fillies and mares over 1800 meters and in the lucky last, we find the second of my value bets. And this is horse number two, Quiet Rebellion. Cabello Mazziani retains a ride here for Stewie Pettigrew. Round about 11 to 2. I see that phone, well, the blinkers are staying on this one. Last time out was a little slow. Um, if this one jumps on terms, does not lose too much ground. I think that, again, 11 to 2, very, very, very nice value. For second, guys. I have gone for horse number six. This is Strange Magic. King de Miller for Candace Dawson. This is currently top of the boards. Won a maiden very, very easily last time out. I think it's got a little more to do. But again, um, I think good enough to throw into trifectas and exactors as well as your um, pick sixes. For third, gone for horse number one, Little Mary Sunshine, uh, carrying top weight. Drawn widest of all, uh, good enough back end of trifectas and quartets, has been running to some decent sorts, has been running in uh, grade ones. Uh, second run after rest, yeah, maybe, maybe you take a smaller percentage, guys, and throw this one if you're taking pick sixes. For fourth, we've gone for horse number eight, Eastern World. Uh, Diego de Gavea for the Dawson Yard. Again, won a maiden last time out. Good enough for back end of quartets. So race nine, we have gone two, six, one, and eight. Um, take the three selections for jackpots and pick sixes. Guys, um, just check for jockey changes, check for scratchings, check for any betting moves, especially on first timers. Look after yourself. Take care. Stevie, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, The Postman. We appreciate your input and your analysis. I see you tipped a non-race program, your normal bar pot PA, your jackpot one and jackpot two, and your two value bets, race one, number one, big guy at seven to two, and race nine, number two, quiet rebellion at 11 to two. So please, Lord, let them arrive for the punters and let's keep enjoying what we're doing. So all in all, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Enjoy, have fun, break a leg and cheers for now.